so I got a new box and we're gonna open it and see what's inside. It's the wild grain box. They got in touch with me like two weeks ago and they sent me a box for review and it's bread, pasta, and pastries. You guys, I'm so excited. This is like right up my alley. All right, I'm gonna open it. And see what it, and see what's, where are you? <laughs> and see what's inside. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna turn you around. Hey guys, so I'm about to show you the Wild Grain box. It is $89 a month and you get 12 sourdough rolls free in every box. If you use my coupon code ABADABS, all in caps, you can get $30 off your first box if you're the first 50 people that use my coupon code. Look, I got a new box. I'm so excited about this. This is perfect for my life. And I'm gonna open it with you guys and we're gonna see what's inside. And then whatever's in there, I'm gonna make. And we're gonna see what it's like. All right, Head Baker, thank you for choosing Wild Grain and supporting small bakers and pasta makers. Your membership helps keep the tradition of artisanal and or artisanal and nutritious food alive. Thing is the fettuccine pasta right here. It's all frozen and it gives you the instructions. It is vegetarian, clean ingredients, unbleached flour, non-GMO, no artificial colors. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so we got the fettuccine. We have the tonarelli. I think that's how you say it. So we have tonarelli pasta right here. Oh, that looks amazing. I'm going to make stuff. I'm going to literally cook with you guys. And we're going to go from there. Okay, so this is the, these are the sourdough rolls. And you can add this on. And if this is your first box, I believe you get one of these for your first box. It says, we use the old way of making bread with wild yeast fermented for 36 hours, providing nutrients, fiber-rich bran, proteins, probiotics, and vitamin-rich germs. Excited. Ooh, what are these? What are these? Chocolate avalanche croissants. Oh my gosh. These you bake for 30 minutes. You guys, I... Oh my gosh, I can't wait. And this is sourdough, whoops, sourdough sesame bread. Oh yes. Yum. Then we have just a regular sourdough bread. You, oh, I am so excited about this. For real, like so excited that I like, can't stop saying how excited I am. And then we have the slow fermented cranberry pecan bread. Oh my God. That looks amazing. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. Okay, so we have the pecan and cranberry bread right there. We have a regular sourdough bread. We have the sesame sourdough bread. We have 12 sourdough rolls, a, another pasta, it's tona, tonarelli pasta, fettuccine pasta, hello, and we have the chocolate avalanche croissants, hell yeah, baby look at this box. Good boy. Good morning. Why are you acting scared? What is on your butt? You got stuff on your butt? Hi, good boy. Good morning. Good morning.
You ready? You ready to go out into the living room? Are you falling asleep? Or are you just sitting there? Masha. Why do you do that with your eyes when I talk to you? Oh, look at your tongue, Masha. What are you doing with your tongue? That was so cute. All right, guys. So tonight I'm going to be making the fettuccine from, from the wild green box. And... It's a frozen fettuccine, so I'm going to make this. I'm making a fettuccine alfredo. I'll make the sauce. Um, I just make a real quick and easy fettuccine sauce. And for my husband, I'll do chicken alfredo. And then for my kids, I'll do the broccoli alfredo. And for myself, I have a big thing of green beans right here that I'm going to... Um, that I'm going to throw in with some fresh garlic and butter. And I'll stir those up real quick or steam them up real quick and then I'm also going to make this sesame sourdough sesame bread and you just put it in the oven at 450 for 18 to 24 minutes and for a softer crust they say put tin foil over it and then take it off the last like two to three minutes when you're baking it so I'm going to do that as well and then for for dessert we're going to do the chocolate avalanche croissant so I'm really excited I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys what I'm making because I unboxed the box but I did not show you I haven't I haven't made anything yet so tonight we are making this sesame sourdough is in the oven we have to bake it for 18 to 24 minutes that it green beans are done I am making the chicken and then now I'm gonna start the pasta Are the chocolate avalanche croissants and I'm about to put them in the oven but look how good they look you're supposed to put them on parchment paper but I didn't have any so hopefully they're fine but do they not look delicious and they have little tiny baby chocolate chips inside oh my god I'm so excited delicious
I, uh, so it's Sunday. I was gonna like, I was gonna get myself all, like do my hair kind of thing and make myself look presentable. But honestly guys, it's Sunday night and I don't give a shit what I look like. <laughs> I have, I spent the weekend hanging out with my family. I mowed the lawn today. I did laundry. I cleaned my house and it was, so it was like basically just a really lazy day. Then for dinner, I made the stuff from the wild grain box that I got. So I made fettuccine Alfredo. Um, I used, so the pasta that came in the box is the fettuccine, al um, the fettuccine pasta. So I, made that from the box and then I um, made some homemade fettuccine alfredo sauce and I put broccoli in me and the girls fettuccine and I put chicken in Matt's fettuccine. So Matt had chicken alfredo, um, chicken fettuccine alfredo and the girls and I had broccoli fettuccine alfredo with sour sesame sourdough bread from the box and it was delicious. We baked it, we put butter on it. it was so good you'll see part of that in this video and then for dessert we had the chocolate avalanche croissants and when i tell you guys that they were the most delicious things i've ever had they were so delicious you have to eat them when they're warm because they don't taste any i mean i'm sure they're delicious any time cold frozen but you have to eat them when they are warm because the chocolate gets gooey in your mouth and it's just delicious. So, um, so yeah, that was my Sunday night. Now I just fed the bunnies their dinner. They get a salad and some, every day they get unlimited hay. They also get their pellets, which is just like basically hay in pellet form. Um, and they get unlimited water. That's what they have all day. Um, but at night they get a big salad and so like so tonight they had spinach and romaine lettuce and some other like butter lettuce and some other kind of lettuces in there and then they had celery but they love the celery leaves so i gave them the celery leaves with a celery stalk they each had one small um like a carrot but it's like one of those like a carrot chip basically, but a very small one because they only get a, one carrot a week and it's Sunday night, so they get their carrot tonight. So they each got one small carrot chip and then they had some cilantro. They each got two sprigs of parsley because you don't want to give them too much parsley because it, it's, you can give them too much calcium. Um, and then, let me just make sure I'm not missing anything. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, um, Scatter had his first cucumber on Friday and he loved it. So that's gonna be a nice treat for him every once in a while. He'll really enjoy it. Tomorrow I'm going to be pulling all of these. Oh, I can't show you. I'm going to be pulling all the weeds in this flower bed that's over here, right there. Goes all alongside my house. I started over here already. So I've already done right there. These aren't weeds, those are perennials. Um, so yeah, I have to finish weeding that. And I love the purple flowers that are right here. Like, do you see these? These little purple flowers that line the whole bed. I love them. I think they're pretty, but I'm told that they are a weed. So I might as well pull them. So if that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to work on the side yard. I mowed the, all the lawn today. Um, so I do want to sit down and talk to you guys um, in a future video, I'm not ready to talk about it right now. I just, I need to be in a better headspace. I feel, I feel good about the situation and I feel, I do, I feel I'm fine with the situation. I'm fine with the decisions I have made to get to me, get me where I am right now, um, with the decision that I made. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that, but I'm not ready to talk about it I'm not ready to because there's a lot of hurt and um, when you're hurt you can be angry and I don't I don't want to come off as angry and I want to I want to figure out how to deal with the hurt and until I figure out how I want to deal with this situation I don't know what I'm gonna do
like about the whole situation. But as of right now, I'm really glad I made the decision I did because I'm not being blamed for anybody else's actions. I didn't do anything wrong. Hey guys, sorry for the abrupt ending to that clip, but I got myself on a rampage <laughs> and started ranting. So I decided to just cut it out because I literally said I wasn't ready to sit down and talk to you guys about what's been going on and about the decision I made and so on and so forth. So I hope you guys have the best Monday today. Sorry, the vlog went up late. But I love you guys, and I hope you guys have the best week. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. And let me know what you thought about the wild grain box. All the information is in the description box down below.